on your feet. Make some noise. The boys are about to play with their toys. Good start from Pierce. He's got out in the front there. He's got order right behind. Then it's Lane going to slide up and around the outside of Brian Hardman, the 16 machine, into third. Uh, Hardman fourth and Ryan DeVette rounds out the top five, but Kobe Pierce is going to own lap number one, and he's got a massive lead. He's turning on the turbo here, clicking this thing into gear, getting her through three and four on the low side, or excuse me, one and two on the low side, and now that blue 92 is chopping up the dirt down the back straight. Going to slide her sideways through three and four. Everybody's sticking low, single file here down the front stretch. Oh, two laps down. Two laps down, and now we got a battle for a second between Order and Gary Land. Kobe Pierce still way out in front trying to keep a clean line, and he has got his foot through the floor with a half track lead and now we got a battle for second and Ryan Order gonna give the slide job right up in the front side of Gary Land and Ryan Order back up into that second place spot great driving through three and four by Ryan Order he's back up into second Gary Land is hungry for it here he's gonna slide a bit through uh, one and two and that allows Land to get right back up on that backside that are right in front of the 92 of Kobe Pierce don't get me wrong that is second to third that is how much faster Kobe Pierce is out here tonight as you see him just coming off the top line off the berm and down through the front stretch he is flying Battle for second is still between land and order. Order in the 43, land in the 55. I think Kobe Pierce is gonna be content to just sit right behind them with one lap left to go. White flag coming out here. I don't know, he's driving that thing like a bat out of you know what, ladies and gentlemen, trying to lap the whole field. Let's see if he does it this time. Going to the high line through one and two. Can Kobe Pierce lap the entire field? Ryan Order is running away. His skirt is on fire. Ryan Order says no, Kobe, no. Don't lap the whole field. Kobe Pierce off the top right takes the checkered flag! El Paso makes some noise! You sport mods are getting the green flag! Oh, big wreck on the front stretch to start it! Huge wreck on the front stretch! Albane and the 4T of Troy Olsen. Green flag coming, Kelly Russell has it in hand. It's hammer down time in the Sport Mod main. Good start from Jarno, another great start. Oh, there's Dave Stock in second. He had a good start here, but he's got Derek Murphy on the inside. They're gonna go three wide here through three and four. Stock the ham to the sandwich and he's gonna split the Red Sea right down the middle and Dave Stock is gonna lead lap number one. Derek Murphy now on that inside line. He says, this is my lead. I earned it, and he's going to steal it back from Dave Stock. This time, Councilman's not going to be able to wedge low on Murphy and ride on his coattail, though. Councilman is up onto that inside quarter panel of Dave Stock, and here he goes. He's going to put the boom pad to the floor, and Danny Councilman's going to run by. Now he's looking for more. The 4D is up into second. He's got Dave Stock in his rear view, but he's got to hunt down the 37M of Derek Murphy now. That's Zachary Taylor in the 18T. He's sitting high line right now. He's going to dip down low right in front of the leader, and he's going to force them to hit the brakes. Taylor is all up in the mix right now, getting that lap traffic flag. Oh, Derek Murphy going to slide right between the middle. Contact with Councilman down the front stretch. Derek Murphy holding on for his life for the lead, but Councilman's going to run away with it. And he is digging, digging, digging down that back straight now. Danny Councilman looking for the checkered flag here. He wants to go home with a little more money. Murphy giving it all he has. He shoots it in hard, but it's not enough. Danny Councilman wins it. It's the card of the gen. Ecker got the start he wanted. He's getting a little contact from Reese right now, but he's eating up. Oh, here comes Dylan Reese on the inside. Dylan Reese is going to run right past Randy Ecker. Dylan Reese in the 51 looking for the lead. He'll put the rear in in front of Ecker and hit the brakes. We got him bumping and banging through three and four, but Dylan Reese leads lap number one. Randy Ecker in second. Anthony Rhodes third. Uh, Cameron O'Lear fourth. And it's DJ Banks and Phil Reed fighting for fifth right now. To the 0-2 of Buchanan. He's looking to rub him right up and out the track. And all Laney Bellum gets caught up. Laney Bellum spun it in three and four. Back up to your leader, though. That's Anthony Rhodes, and he's got a lot of space. Almost an entire corner right now on the 82R. Phil Reed, who's got Dylan Reese behind, DJ Banks, and Cameron O'Lear. That's your top five going past the line right now. He's trying to find a way around. Here comes the 82R of Phil Reed, stuck right on the backside of the 9R of Anthony Rhodes, who's going to take the checkered flag. Green flag is coming. Jason Rispin and Mike Hurst are getting us started off. Hammer down for the Hobby Stocks. 
Steph Kovic also one to look out for. That 11 car, he's sitting right behind your two leaders right now, trying to shoot right down the middle. Let's see if he does. Oh, he's being held off right now. There he goes. Steph Kovic splits the Red Sea. He's looking for a lead. Three wide battle coming through three and four. Rispin looking to hold on to the lead. He's going to chop down on Shad Cooper, and Jason Rispin leads lap number one. He's got Hunter Smith right behind him, though, and Hunter gives him a little love tap. All kinds of bumping and banging through one and two. Seth Kovic gets sideways, and Seth Kovic collects Dobrovsky. Let's see what happens here. Everybody bunched in behind the 75 of Brady, and Brady going to spin. Lap traffic making a mess out of this race here, and that'll get us a yellow. Got Seth Kovic on the high line, and Beerman on the low line, and Beerman's going to send him around. White flag coming here this time by for the 1S, Mr. Hunter Smith. One lap left to go for the kid. Hunter Smith just cruising now down the back straight. He's got a very healthy lead on the 12 of Shad Cooper, and I don't think he's got a care in the world, just like Gilligan would on his island. He's kicking back, relaxing, and taking home some money. Blake Fladgard looking for the green flag. The three car won his heat race. He's looking to win his first main, I believe, ever. And the green flag is out for the three of Fladgard. Good start by Fladgard. Jacob Worthington had a much better start on the inside. And now Jacob Worthington's your new leader. Oh, look out for him now. He's mashing the onion down the back straight. And he's going to bring it through three and four here. Jacob Worthington's already got a healthy lead. And it is good. Very, very hard to catch Jacob Worthington when he's out in front. He's got his foot through the floor down the front stretch. He's going to lead it through one and two here, and he's got a big lead on his sister in the 58 car. Nobody going to catch Jacob Worthington here tonight. And the man out of Falcon, Colorado, is going to make it back-to-back -back main event from El Paso County Raceway. Green flag coming here. William Taylor, Ben Haney, hammer down for the Dwarfs. Taylor going to take that low line there. Haney going to switch him back, though. He looked for the switch back, and he got it. Let's see what he does here through three and four. Oh, swiped right up on Taylor, gave him contact, and said, get out of the way. Ben Haney leads lap number one. Kind of making this a little interesting race, and Haney clips a tire. Ben Haney hit a tire, and that'll get us a yellow. Ecker in the 05, trying to stay away from William Taylor. He's stepping on the skunk down the back straight. Randy Ecker trying to keep it clear. Here he comes through three and four. Randy Ecker going to take the checkered. They're going to lead us off. Oh, baby, they're already on the go juice, and we're getting the green flag. Now 600s are hammered down. That's three, four, and five coming out of turn four right now. In fifth is Hunter Rhodes. Not a whole lot of change and a lot of lap traffic here for the 12 CS Spicola. We'll see how he handles this. He's going to have to look to dip and dive through a lot of this lap traffic. Halfway point of the race here, though, for the 12 C car. 10 down, 10 to go. Galacia still in second. Here comes Skyler Rhodes. They got trapped up behind the 28H of Hunter Finney, who is lap traffic. Oh, Rhodes tried to get up and around the outside. Snelling got around the inside there, and he's able to hold on to that third place spot. I thought he might... Uh, I thought Snelling might be stuck behind that 28H of Rhodes, or excuse me, uh, Finney, and that might allow Rhodes to get around the outside, but he did a good job of dipping down below, and he was able to get around him there. White flag was out that time by for the 12C Spicola as he's digging down the back straight now. He is stuck in the middle of a ton of lap traffic, but it doesn't matter him one bit. He's going to lead it through four and out of turn, or into three, out of four, and Chase Spicola going to cruise to a victory. Here we go! Lightning Sprint main event is hammered down! Good start from Dylan, but better start for Johnny! Johnny's up on the outside, but here comes Dakota again on the inside. They're duking it out for the lead with Martinez right behind, and it's Melon, Sauer, and Becker. That's your battle for the top five right now. Who's it going to be leading lap number one, though? It's going to be Dakota Dylan leading lap number one. Mellon with a very healthy lead now as he leads Josh Flood and Johnny Boost down the back straight. He's running away from everybody. He's kicking up the dust. Here he comes, Joe Mellon in the 3J. He's going to take home the checkered flag. Joe Mellon wins our last main event of the night. I can't see the numbers on the go-karts. Even though I got 20-20 vision, I mean, that's small, man. That's, that's small. 
but we'll see when they come around here. All kinds of great vendors, all kinds of great stuff here tonight. Folks, hopefully you enjoy your night out here with us at El Paso County Raceway. They're out there turning and burning some laps.